Okay guys, so I found out about the, the 3700 regular size. So what it is different is it's a little bit shorter and the front pocket is, a, well, it spans the whole length of the tackle bag. It doesn't have the two side pockets. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if y'all are gonna be able to see it. This is what it looks like. So I'm gonna show y'all what all I have in it. Haven't decided. I need a better camera angle. Um, we'll show you all what's in it, but I'm not going to go through each and every lure. If you want a video for that, please ask for it in the comments below. Um, it would have to be divided up into a couple videos because I have so much stuff in here and I, I don't really want to do a 30 minute long video. So if you want that, please comment below. But um, for right now, we're just going to show you all what I have in it and how I pack it. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so here is the bag. I'm gonna start with the front compartments for the miscellaneous items first. This side we're gonna do first. So it has handles for you to pick it up and on both sides. It's got this little storage pocket. I keep gloves and face shields in this little pocket. And then it has a zipper pocket. It holds the 3600 sizes perfectly. Um, and in this box, I have my swim baits and my spoons. And I have it labeled swim baits and spoons. And I put it back in there. You could hold the plastics if you wanted to. I'm um, going to just your preference. That has these two rod holders um, or water bottle holders, whatever you want to put in there. I don't carry either one of those on my bag, so I have my lip grippers. The reason I get a lot of crap for this, the reason I use these is because I do not like going under the gills. Um, I'd rather hook them on the lip. I feel like it is better to do it that way, um, so that, that's just why I do that. Secondly, I have my pliers. I have them connected to the zipper. Um, that way I can just take it out of the bag use it really quick if I want to and then put it back in and it stays perfectly fit middle pocket is kind of just a random pocket you can see that it has a zipper it has a little um, fishing license holder it's got a clip it comes with a phone holder if you want to put your phone in there I keep my dies my scissors and then my scale in this pocket. The second pocket over here, or the third pocket, it has another little space. I don't really keep anything in there at the moment, but you could put plastics or whatever. It has a second handle, like I said. And then this pocket, I have my swim bait terminal tackle. I have so many um, swim bait hooks that I have its own box for it so the reason why the hook come out it don't do that normally I have it I didn't shut it right so that's why I did that there's that box now we're going to look at the back really quick it is either you can fold these straps back and tuck it in and zip it and you won't have a book bag or you can have it as a shoulder strap. So this is what distinguishes the bags for the most part is the outside. The inside's the same. So it comes with this new drop zone feature. You can put hooks or any, you know, baits, whatever you want to. Fits and they won't fall off, as you can see. So we're going to get into the middle, I mean, the, or the bigger compartment here, if I can find the zipper. One big zipper opens up. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 3700s in this box. Um, there, some of them are deep, and then some of them are the thin, and then I have some standards. So we're just going to go one by one. This is my top water box that I carry. It's a Plano Edge Series Deep 3700. I keep spooks, poppers, frogs, um, buzz baits, and stuff like that. Prop baits in there. 
This is my terminal tackle box. This is my favorite box. These little yellow things hold your weights. One thing I like about it is this. If I can get it if my hands are freezing, so I can't really I can't really feel my fingers, but you can take your weight box out if you want to. I cannot feel my fingers. <laughs> but you know, oh, dang it. Don't shake it. But you put your weights and stuff in there. And it's protected with the foam padding. And you can also put it in your pocket. You can also take the hooks out. So you can take your EWGs and your weights and your pegs. And you can go on and you can Texas rig fish all day without having to tote the whole box if you wanted to. That's why I like that. I think that's a really, really good um, thing for terminal tackle. Next is a 3700 thin box. I keep my medium divers and a couple of deep divers in here. I have a couple of random small jerk baits in there too. This is my jig and charter bait box. I don't have too many as you can see, but this is the jig box. They only have a 3700 size in the jig box. Hopefully they'll make a 3600 because I like that as well. This is my um, lipless box. It is a 3700 thin also. Um, for the thins, I like the rattle traps and the medium divers to go in them. Some of the square bills are fatter and you can't fit as many in there. So I like this box, which is the 3700 standard for my square bills and my movement baits. They just seem to work better for that. And you can fit way more in there. So there's the standard box. And then this one is the standard 3700 crankbait box. This isn't the deep one. This is the regular one. But you can see that it is deeper if you wanted to. Let's try not to, let's try not to tear anything up when I do this. If you wanted to, you can take, let's see if it'll come out like this. You can take, let's try not to tear anything up here, Hannah. Well, it ain't going to do it, but you could take this whole um, insert out and you could put plastics in it if you wanted to. But I just like to use the regular, I put my jerk baits in here. You can see that I have the small ones in the front, the larger ones in the back. You could fit more. This box also is good for rattle traps. Not so much as good for fatter square bills, I've heard. Um, but I prefer to use my jerk baits because I ha they, most of these have three treble hooks, and <laughs> you don't want them tangled because it, it just tears your nerves up. So that's why I have these in here. Um, also, I'm going to count this as part of my tackle bag. Um, this is a this is the worm divider but I took the inserts out from the spinner rate divider because it's thinner and I put the spinner rates in here the worm bag the spinner rate bag is thicker so I took the worm bag inserts and put it in there and I'm gonna put my worms and stuff in there for when I just want to take a little bit but here is my spinner bait and buzz bait setup it's just a file so I got color coordinated buzz baits and here's my spinner baits. Also color coordinated and size coordinated. So these are mini ones. These are the bigger ones. And that's how it is. It also comes with two zippers on each side. If you want to store something on the inside, like hooks or something. But that is all right. Sorry, y'all. My my driveway is really muddy, and my stepmom came in the driveway, and it just sounded like grits in a bowl. <laughs> so. That's all the stuff that's in my tackle bag. I hope you enjoyed this video. If, Like I said before, if you want me to do an in-depth video on each of the boxes, I could do like a mini-series on each box if you'd like me to. Um, I actually enjoy looking at all of my tackle. I am a tackle junkie to the max. <laughs> but I appreciate you watching the video. Let me know um, your thoughts on the new Edge series and these new bags. I personally like these better than the ones with the um, clear lid on the top. I like these a lot better. This is going to be a 
revolutionary bag, I believe, because you can wear it over the shoulder or you can wear it on, as a backpack. So I think that's really awesome. And they just, the 3700s, I was scared they weren't gonna fit um, with the new Plano Edge. Wasn't sure of the dimensions, but they fit perfectly. Um, and another feature that I really like is the drop zone. Cause like I said, you can just, sticks. So, it's awesome. Also your pliers. You want to throw your pliers up there? Dang it. They stick. So, pretty cool too. But me, you know, you put tungsten up here or um, like your tungsten and your hooks while you're looking for a bobber stopper, you can just have it sitting up here. And if you accidentally flip your lid open, they're not going to fall off. So, I think that's awesome, especially for clumsy people like myself that have a hard time doing that. So, <laughs> thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And also, let me know if you want to see what is actually in the boxes. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Mm.